With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi, the question is, a current of 1 ampere exists in copper wire of cross section 1 mm square. Assuming 1 free electron per atom, so it's given 1 free electron per atom, calculate the drift speed of the free electrons in the wire. The density of the copper is 9000 kg per meter cube. So in the question we are given current in the copper wire is 1 ampere. The cross sectional area of the copper wire is 1 mm square. We are also given each atom each atom contains one free electron. We are also given density of the copper which is 9000 kg per meter cube. Alright, and we need to find the drift speed or drift velocity of the electron. So before we solve this question, let us first discuss some key concepts that we need to know to solve this question. So the first key concept is the relation between current and drift velocity which is given as I equals N E A V D. So here I is the current flowing through the wire, N is the number of free electrons per unit volume, E is the charge of electron, A is the cross sectional area of the wire and V D is the drift speed. So from here we can find Vd as I upon Nea. Alright. The second key concept is molecular mass of an atom contains 6.022 into 10 raised to power 22 atoms. So this is known as Avogadro number. Alright. So we need to know these two concepts to solve this question. Now we can proceed to solve this question. So from the first key concept we have Vd equals I upon NeA. So in the question we are given the current I, the area A, but we are not given the number of free electrons per unit volume. Instead, we are given the density of the copper and each atom contains one free electron. So now let us use the second key concept which says atomic mass of an atom contains Avogadro number of atoms. So from here we can say that the mass number of copper which is 63.5 gram. So this contains 6.022 into 10 raised to power 22 atoms and we are given each atom contains one free electron so we can also say this number of free electrons all right so 63.5 gram contains this much number of atoms or free electrons so we can solve for 9000 kg per meter cube of copper contains how much number of electrons per meter cube. So on solving this, we will have 9000 times 6.022 into 10 raised to power 22. This whole divided by 63 grams. So as this is in grams and this is in kg, so we will convert this 63.5 grams into kg by dividing it with 1000. So on solving this, we will get 8.5 into 10 raised to power 28. So this is the number of free electrons per meter cube that is per unit volume. So this is actually our small n. In the expression of Vd, we have Nea. So this small n is actually number of free electrons per unit volume. So now we have all the values in the expression of Vd. So now we can proceed to solve for Vd. So Vd is I 
डिवाइडेड बाय एन ई ए सो आई इज वन एम्पेयर एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन इज वन एम स्क्वायर एंड वी ऑलरेडी नो एन सो वील पुट ऑल दैल्यूज वन एम्पेयर नंबर ऑफ फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स पर यूनिट वॉल्यूम इज एट पॉइंट फाइव इन टू टेन रेज टू पावर ट्वेंटी एट The charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 19 coulomb. The area is given in mm square. So if we need to find Vd in SI units, we need to convert this into meter square. So this will be minus 9. Okay. Now on solving, we will get Vd equals 7.4. Into 10 raised to power minus 5 meters per second. So this is our answer. Okay, thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.